Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn useful Resolve tips and tricks in about five minutes. In this episode, I'll show you how to generate your own custom LUTs. There are a couple of things to keep in mind when converting your grade to a LUT. First is that you want to turn off your primary corrections before generating the LUT. Otherwise, the LUT will be applying those primary corrections where they don't belong. Second is that some of Resolve's tools aren't compatible with the type of transforms that a LUT can perform. In other words, no masks, tracking data, qualifiers, blurs, sharpening, or Resolve effects. Even if you could incorporate these things into your LUT, they would just create problems since they're very tailored to your individual shots. So your best bet is to limit your corrections to the color wheels palette and curves palette if you intend to make a LUT. With those caveats out of the way, right click on the clip thumbnail in the clip's timeline and choose Generate 3D LUT Cube. You'll be asked to name the LUT. I'll call this one Creepy. Then click Save. Next, you'll want to test your LUT before sending it to someone else or another application. The easiest way is to go to another clip that you've already normalized. Then add another serial node by pressing Alt S or Option S. Next, right click on the new node and go to 3D LUT and choose your LUT from the list. Ugh! If you're using a Mac and your LUT looks utterly horrible like this one, you'll need to go buy a new iMac Pro for $12,000. When you do, make sure to use my affiliate link so I can get a cut. All joking aside, this is a pretty easy thing to fix. Go to the DaVinci Resolve menu, to Preferences, and choose Hardware Configuration. From here, choose the appropriate GPU processing mode for your graphics card. In my case, it's OpenCL. This should fix the problem permanently, so you won't have to do that again. Then click Save. Resolve won't enable these changes until you restart it, so do so. After you've opened Resolve again, go back to the clip and right click on the thumbnail to generate the LUT again, since our first attempt was corrupted by the GPU processing bug. Once again, give it a name and click Save. Now you're ready to use your LUT on other clips. Go back to the clip and right click on the node and go to 3D LUT and choose your LUT from the list. Alternately, you can share this LUT. To do so, go to the Project Settings menu in the lower right of the interface. Then choose Color Management and click the Open LUT Folder button. Now you can copy this LUT over to other applications, or you can email it to your friends, or you can have LUT parties. Go wild with it! You're the king of the world now! Anyway, that's how you make your own LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. For more great DaVinci Resolve tutorials, check out RippleTraining.com, the number one resource for DaVinci Resolve certification training.